Hello everyone, this is Vishal and welcome to the Apps on World and a world where we have a lot of um, tutorials for you related to the programming, Java field, Android, Swift apps and uh, any kind of math sessions and uh, uh, if you need uh, a math a maths helps in your BA, BTEC and BCMC courses we can also be solved for you so today uh, I'll start the session on a Swift uh, as we see in our apps we make uh, some custom components we need some custom components and how we created that so in a swift 3 and xcode how we can solve this just like as we know the ui picker view uh, we have a multiple values or multiple strings values in which we have to select any one of them just like a drop down and we can select any one of the value on that so here uh, how to make that custom that means if you need that value in with with images that means UI image and UI label so how we can uh, drop down that in the UI picker view and then select any one of that choose one of them so just go for the uh, practical so there's your Xcode and uh, file and go for your new project in the new project we have a single view application and give the name to that application that is as a UI picker view custom and we create that app so it's a good now we have this uh, as we know in our Xcode we have a app delegate view controllers and main storyboard these are assets we can put in images and uh, go for this your view controller here and but first we needed to a component to add on a main storyboard so this is your view controller view and here we can filter the value ui picker view let's put it on the screen and give it in the central forms and uh, just uh, if you want to add it on a horizontal in container you can add that constraint to it and if you want to change the background of this view controller we can change with some transparency yeah that looks fine to me okay now uh, go for that assistant direct uh, editor on the assistant editor we have just outlet for that so drag it here and give the outlet name as picker view so we can access this picker view on our view controller this outlet for that so how we can do that uh, just uh, we need uh, multiple strings values in the my, uh, my picker view so what to do just take a variable variable your picker array in the form of a string uh, uh, just give some we take a little example for that just say boy girl and is there dog uh, cat I choose this because I have some images uh, cartoon images for that I can show the view as a picker images on boy girl dog and this cat so these four we have to show on our picker view how we can achieve that uh, first we need some delegates for this picker view so the delegates methods for the picker view for the resources just say control data source and delegate so can we can apply these uh, functions on the on our picker view here you say UI picker view data source and UI picker 
mutilated. You see here the red mark B, so that means the error that's not it's for just to implement mandatory methods uh, related to your UI picker view data source and UI picker view delegates. So say func picker. The first method is uh, and that's an important number of components what we need it that means how we can how many we can show on our picker view so at this time we need to be a uh, only a one component generally we want to represent two values on the single time so we can take to it with double values so here we have a return one at the time we can represent it one so say func picker and number of rows in a component how much rows we need it uh, we need to return your picker array dot count value so we can say it's be removed that means it's mandatory two, two functions for that UI picker now the if you want to select something say func your picker it is did select row which select which row you need to be select so here we have a where selected value so we can show to our user a string and selected value uh, should be as an picker array and this is your particular row which row we need to be select now that is the last function most important function in which we have to make our view as an custom form so this is your func picker view view for row that is the most important function so say we need it as an alert uh, we can say it as a UI my UI view as a UI view or give the good name to that I think give it a custom UI view that's good so you we, we needed to see there are three kind of uh, representation we have at this time we need in the frame kind so say CG rect and we have a four parameters for the CG rec value that is your x 0 and y position 0 we can we can say it is in a kind of rectangle uh, with a width and with a height width is your 100 give it more 120 and we want to give this height to as a 30 and I close this and return this view here under this custom view we have to make a two uh, we add two components that's your UI label and uh, UI image component so we can show both the values at runtime so for that we need a UI custom UI label and it is your UI label again create a form uh, frame of CZ rect you say CZ rect as in just copy paste it yes 
and this custom your level we have to start it from some position because I uh, do not want to be start from zero because it means zero position first we want to be a image and then want to be a UI label so give it the values as um, um, 50 and reduce its width because of the total width is 120 so we want to make it uh, as in a 70 so it go up to 120 okay now at enough time we need it UI label dot text as uh, picker array and our row values now go for the image how we create the image view say UI image say simple custom UI image it's your UI don't go for the UI image we have to need first that's an image view under that we have to put that image UI image view and first we create the frame for that and this is your CG rect and this CG rect we need to start it from x0 and y0 position width gonna be as a uh, 30 and height uh, also be we make it 30 and close this and need to add this custom UI image dot image as in a UI image with the name our array of picker images row selections now add this to be on our custom view so say custom view dot here we have a methods that's called your add sub view and the view first we need the image and then label so put the image first so say custom UI image as the UI image view and custom UI view dot add sub view again and it's your custom UI label so on the left side we have an image and on the right side we have a label but uh, most important thing uh, we need images for this so let's see where uh, with the image we just minimize see yeah these are the images we have a four cartoons for that just say drag to them on our assets copy items if needed finish so here we have all four images now check it uh, run this program as an UI I found in six run this you give the same name as on our picker images be boy girl dog and cat so here you have the same names on the boy cat dog and the girl these so we'll see it what we our custom view if there been issue we can adjust according to that our custom view these are UI picker view
values. Let's see what happened in similar to. First time you take a tan little, yes. So you can see it in our is your boy, girl, dog, and cat. You see the values. Okay, if you want to show and print the value of selected, you say print what you have to select on a runtime. That is your selected value. So if you need to pu push it somewhere or give it to the uh, in your database or wherever we can select but in a particular position but the view is in a form of your with images not on a plain text Let's run it again. What happened with this? Need to check. Okay, succeeded. Hmm. Okay, now these are you can see it is a girl, it is a dog, and as an output. There's a boy, so this is your selected. And on a particular time, what you select, it show to you here. So this is a, a simple and basic thing how to make a custom UI picker view in your apps. We will come on the other session as in a custom components. Thank you so much. If you need any kind of helps, uh, then uh, put it down your commands. Thank you so much.